Hey everybody, Darlene here from Petal Academy. Thanks so much for tuning in to Flower Fact Friday. Today I am going to talk about the Agapanthus flower. So you, I'm going to hold that up to the camera so you can see these beautiful periwinkle blue bell-shaped blossoms that are sort of clustered on the end of this really beautiful stem. You can see that. So they're on a really long stem, stocky, celery-like stem, and uh, they have a really delicate light blue periwinkle on the inside, and they've got these little tiny little um, pollinators on the edges, really, really pretty. They are great to use in for some texture in larger scale arrangements. They're fun because of that beautiful blue tone that they come in, and they also have a multitude of little buds in the center, so they're beautiful to sort of watch perform that way. These are usually imported, but you can grow them in the summertime in a plant form here in Ontario, and they are also known as the Lily of the Nile plant, so that's another common name for them, but Agapanthus is their botanical name. And another thing that we sometimes do with them is you can actually pull off, I'm going to be kind of mean here, these little shoots, and you can use them in... Um, boutonnieres and corsages and things like that. So you can wire these individual little buds that we have here. These are great that way. Um, so you give them a try. So Agapanthus, they also come in whites and they are gorgeous. So they usually will last anywhere from five to seven days in a vase, sometimes a little bit longer. Give them a trim on the bottoms, lukewarm water with a little bit of preservative and you can check them out. So thanks so much for watching today. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out pedalacademy.com and our Instagram and Facebook page. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, live life in full bloom.